the Project Management Institute Global Standard, the Standard for Portfolio Management, 4th edition, 2018. This recorded is until 45, 1 to 45 to 50 items out of 140. This will be divided by 3. Table of Contents. Introduction 1.1 Purpose of the Standard and Portfolio Management 1.2 Audience of the Standard for Portfolio Management 1.3 What is Portfolio 1.4 Relationship among Portfolios, Program, Project, and Operations 1.5 What is Portfolio Management 1.6 Relationship among Portfolio Management, Program Management, and Project Management 1.7 Principles of Portfolio Management 1.8 Relationship among Portfolio Management Organizational strategy, strategic business executions, and organization, project management, 1.8.1 portfolio management and organizational strategy, 1.8.2 strategic business execution and organizational project management, 1.9 portfolio components and their interrelationship, 1.9.1 program management. 1.8.2 strategic business executions and organizational project management. 1.9 portfolio components and their interrelationship. 1.9.1 program management. 1.9.2 pro project management. 1.9.3 operational management. 1.10 rules of the portfolio management. 1.11. Are the rules in portfolio management? 1.11.1 is sponsor. 1.11.2 portfolio governance body. 1.11.3 portfolio program and project management office. 1.11.4 program manager. 1.11.5 project manager. Number two, the portfolio life cycle. 2.1 overview. 2.2 guiding principles. 2.3 ongoing life cycle. 2.3.1 initiation. 2.3.2 planning, 2.3.3 execution, 2.3.4 optimization, 2.3.5 monitor and control, 2.4 portfolio management, information system PMIS, 2.5 governance with the portfolio life cycle. Number three, portfolio strategic management, 3.1 overview, 3.2 guiding principles, 3.3 portfolio strategic objectives. 3.4 development, developing portfolio strategic objectives. 3.4.1 visions and mission statement. 3.4.2 strategic goals. 3.4.3 strategic objectives. 3.4.4 strategic initiative. 3.5 strategic risk appetite. 3.6 portfolio charter. 3.7 portfolio roadmap. 3.8 key portfolio components. 3.8.1 evaluating portfolio key components. 3.8.2 Selecting Portfolio Key Components 3.9 Portfolio Organization 3.10 Managing Strategic Alignment 3.10.1 Considerations when Managing Strategic Impact 3.10.2 The Impact of Strategic Change Number 4 Portfolio Governance 4.1 Overview 4.2 What is the Portfolio Governance 4.3 Guiding Principles 4.4 The Concept of Governance 4.4.1 Portfolio Governance Impact on Programs and Projects 4.4.2 Portfolio Governance and Other Domain in Portfolio Management 4.5 Effective Portfolio Governance Design Factor 4.6 Portfolio Governance Rules 4.6.1 Portfolio Sponsor 4.6.2 Portfolio Governance Board 4.6.3 Portfolio Audit Organization 4.6.4 Other Rules Number 5, Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management, 5.1 Overview, 5.2 Guiding Principles, 5.3 Capacity Management, 5.4 Capacity Planning, 5.5 Supply and Demand Management, 5.5.1 Supply and Demand Analysis, 5.5.2 Supply and Demand Allocation, 5.6 Supply and Demand Optimization, 5.7 Organizational Capabilities, 5.8 Capability Assessment, 5.9 Capability Development, 5.9.1 Development New Capabilities, 5.9.2 Sustaining Existing Capabilities, 5.10 Performance Reporting and Analytics, 5.11 Balance Capacity and Capability.
Portfolio Stakeholder Engagement. Number 6. 6.1. Overview. 6.2. Guiding Principle. 6.3. Develop Definitions and Identification of Portfolio Stakeholder. 6.3.1. Categorizations of Stakeholder. 6.3.2. Identifying Stakeholder. 6.4. Analysis of Portfolio Stakeholder. 6.5. Stakeholder Engagement Planning. 6.6. Identifying Communication Management Approach. 6.6.1. Alignment with the Governance. 6.6.2. Communication Infrastructure. 6.6.3. Portfolio Management Plan. 6.6.4. Portfolio Reports. 6.6.5. Portfolio Process Assets. 6.6.6. Communication Governance and Interference Interface to Components. 6.7. Manage Portfolio Communication. Number 7, Portfolio Value Management, 7.1 Overview, 7.2 Guiding Principles, 7.3 What is the Value Management, 7.4 Components of Value Management, 7.5 Negotiating Expected Value, 7.6 Maximizing Value, 7.7 Assuring Value, 7.8 Realizing Value, 7.9 Measuring Value, 7.10 Reporting Value. Number 8, Portfolio Risk Management, 8.1 Overview. 8.2 Guiding Principles, 8.2.1 Managing Portfolio Risk, 8.2.2 Balancing Risk, 8.3 Portfolio Risk Management, 8.4 Key Planning Elements, 8.4.1 Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks, 8.4.2 Risk Perception, 8.5 Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks and Portfolio Risk Management Plan, 8.5.1 Portfolio Risk Management Frameworks, 8.5.2 Portfolio Risk Management Plan, References, Appendix X1, 4th edition, Gay Changes, X1.1, Structural Changes, X1.2, Writing Style, X1.3, Section 1, Introduction Changes, Section 2, the, the Portfolio Life Cycle, Section 3, Portfolio Strategic Management, Section 4, Portfolio Governance, Section 5, Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management, Section 6, Portfolio Stakeholder Management, Section 7, Portfolio Value Management, Section 8, Portfolio Risk Management. <clears throat> Appendix X2, Contributors and Reviewers of the Standard for Portfolio Management. X2.1, the Standard of Portfolio Management, Fourth Edition Core Committee. X2.2, Subcommittee Member. X2.3, Reviewer. X2.3.1, SME Review. X2.3.2, Consensus Body Review. X2.3.3, Exposure Draft Review. X2.4 Pay My Standard Program Member Advisory Group MEG X2.5 Harmonization Team X2.6 Production Staff Appendix X3 Considering the Portfolio as a, as a Complex System X3.1 A Holistic Approach to Portfolio Under Management Glossary Index List of Table of Figure Figure 1.1 to Figure 8.2 Figure 1 does 1 Portfolio Programs and Project High Level View, Figure 1-2, the Organizational Context of Portfolio Management, Figure 1-3, Portfolio Management Performance Domain, Figure 2-1, Information and Decision Flow within the Portfolio Life Cycle, Figure 2-2, Examples of Portfolio Life Cycle Major Activities, Figure 3-1, Example of Portfolio Roadmap, Figure 4-1, Governance Hierarchy, Including Principles and Objectives. Figure 5-1, Capacity and Capability Management Components of Portfolio Management. Figure 5-2, The Relationship Between Supply, Capacity, and Demand. Figure 7-1, Key Activities in Portfolio Value Management. Figure 7-2, The Link Between the Strategy and Portfolio Performance via Components Deliverables. Figure 7-3, Value Realization Chain. Figure 8-1, Elements of Portfolio Risk Management. Figure 8-2, an example of risk categorization. Table 1-1, comparative overview of portfolio program and project management. Table 6-1, stakeholder interest table. Table 6-2, examples of key stakeholder context. Table 6-3, example of communication metrics. Table X1-1, structural changes. Table X1-2, section 1 changes. Table 1 does 3, Section 3 changes. Table X1 does 4, Section 4 changes. Table X1 does 5, Section 5 changes. 
table X1-6, section 6 changes, table X1-7, section 8, portfolio risk management changes. <coughs> Number 1, introduction. This section covers the purpose, context, and principles of portfolio management, including the definitions of several key terms, provides overall the standards of portfolio management fourth edition. The following major sections are addressed. 1.1 Purpose of the Standards of Portfolio Management 1.2 Audience of the Standard of Portfolio Management 1.3 What is Portfolio 1.4 Relationship among Portfolios, Program, Project, and Operations 1.5 What is the Portfolio Management 1.6 Relationship among Portfolio Management, Program Management, and Project Management 1.7 Principles of Portfolio Management 1.8 Relationship among Portfolio Management Organizational strategy, strategic business execution, and organizational project management. 1.9 portfolio components and their interrelationship. 1.10 rules of the portfolio manager. 1.11 other rules in portfolio management. 1.9 purpose of the standard for portfolio management. The standard of portfolio management, fourth edition, identifies project portfolio management principles and performance management domain that are generally recognized as good practice for organizations that have business needs to effectively manage complex and interest program and project investment generally recognized means that the principles of the performance management domain described are applicable to most portfolios most of the time and there is a widespread consensus about their value and usefulness. Good practice means there is general agreement that the applications of these principles and performance managed activities can enhance the chances of success and are proven to work over the wide range of portfolios. Good practices does not mean the management activities described should be applied uniformly. The portfolios, the organization's governance, and the portfolio manager are responsible for determining the appropriate of any portfolio given its environment and in the context of the organization, project, and program management frameworks. The standard for portfolio management fourth edition includes the common unified vocabulary for use among the portfolio management profession for promoting, discussing, reaching, writing, applying, and continuous improvement portfolio management concept by using a single lexicon that is understandable by practitioner regardless of geographical location, culture, industry, and educational background, portfolio management practitioner are able to communicate and facilitate the management of portfolios and executions of strategies. Portfolio management of program, project, and related operations is intended for all types of organization. This standard is companion to information already provided in a guide to the project management body of knowledge PM book 6th edition and the standards of program management 4th edition. A foundational reference, this standard is not intended to be comprehensive or all-inclusive. It is a guide rather than the methodology. One can use various methods and tools to implement the principles and practices describes her end. In addition to the standard that establishes guidelines of the project management principles, processes, tools, and techniques, the PMI Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct describes the expectations that practitioners should have for themselves and others. It is specific about the basic obligations of responsibility, respect, fairness, and honesty. It requires the practitioner demonstrate a commitment to ethical and professional conduct it carries the obligation to comply with the law, regulations, and organizational and professional policies because practitioners come from the driving backgrounds and culture. The Code of Ethics applies globally when dealing with any stakeholder. Practitioners should be committed to honest and fair practice and respectful dealing. Acceptance and adherence to the Code of Ethics is Requirements to achieve and maintain to the portfolio management professional credentials and other PMI certification. 1.2 audience for the standard for portfolio management. 
This standard provides a foundation reference for anyone interested in managing or assessing a portfolio of programs, project, and related operations. This includes, but it is not limited to, senior executive and governance board who make decisions regarding organizational strategy, management staff responsible for developing organizational strategy, or those making recommendations to senior executive. Portfolio program and project management practitioner, particularly portfolio manager, researches analyzing portfolio management, member of the portfolio program or project management office, consultant and other specialist in portfolio, program and project management and related discipline, business and technical professionals such as auditors, trainers, engineers, and others who are increasingly asked to manage a portfolio of program, project, and operational activities. Operations manager, organization unit manager, civil engineer, construction manager, and constructors of large mega project and process owner who have financial, human marketing, materials resource, or supply chain considerations in the portfolio. The numbers of bracket refers to the list of reference at the ends of this standard portfolio program, project and operational team members, customers and other related stakeholder, strategy planner and executive in organization, educators teaching portfolio management and related subject, and students of portfolio management and related field. What is a portfolio? A portfolio is a collecting of project, program, subsidiary portfolios, and operation managed as a group to achieve strategic objectives. The portfolio components such as program and project within the portfolio are quantifiable, example identified, categorized, evaluated, prioritized, authorized. Also, the portfolio components may be related to unrelated, may be independent or interdependent and may have related or unrelated objectives. Portfolio components com compete for a share of some of all set of laminated resource, the share of proportions of individual components within the portfolio structure can be driven by organizational strategies and capabilities. Therefore, organizations need to examine their unique circumstance and determine how best to optimize the balance and portfolio components. A portfolio exists in achieve organizational and business unit strategy and goals and may consist of set of current and future portfolio components like program and project. Portfolio have a life cycle. However, unlike programs and project, which have a more limited duration, portfolios often have greater longevity and management attention. Given portfolios longer term in new components can charm into portfolios under subsidiary portfolios. Portfolio closure can occur when the portfolio is no longer required, when the intended objectives are achieved, or when the portfolio components are decommissioned or moved to another portfolio. Depending on the size of the complexity of organizations, portfolio can merge and separate to achieve optimal performance. An organization may have more than one portfolio, each addressing unique or different organizational business, functional or other strategies, goal and objectives, propose new initiative that could evolve into program or project may be placed onto an existing or new portfolio. In addition, larger portfolios may contain subsidiary portfolios and are usually structured as hierarchy, say figure 1 does 1. For example, programs, project, or functional unit portfolios may reside within the large business unit portfolio, which in turn is nested as just one portfolio within the entire enterprise portfolio. Common project portfolios include product lines, information technology portfolios, enterprise project portfolios, and a myriad, myriad of other. Furthermore, 
Portfolios can be external or ex internal or external to an organization. Portfolios can also exist at the various level of an organization, such as enterprise, divisional business unit, and functional. Portfolios can be organized separately, but they can also be organized in hierarchical structure. Portfolios can support both the core function as well as the support functions of an organization. At any given time, a portfolio represents collections of its selected portfolio components and reflect one or more organizational strategies and objectives for the point in time. Therefore, a functional portfolio should be a representation of an organization, intent, directions, and progress at any given moment. If a portfolio is not aligned to this organizational strategy for any reason, the organization should reasonably question why the work of the portfolio is being undertaken and should align the portfolio with its strategy by taking corrective actions such as adjusting, aligning, and or removing the initiative including in the portfolio. Organization Strategy Sample Portfolio Program A, Program B, Portfolio A, Program B1, Program C, Project 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Operation, Shared Resource and Stakeholder. So this is the program A and B, and this is the portfolio in figure 1-1 portfolio program and project high-level view. One point for relationship among portfolios, program, projects, and operation. The relationship among portfolios, program, and project are such the portfolio refer to collections of the project, program, subsidiary, portfolios, and related operation managed collectively as a group to achieve strategic objectives. The relationship among these components have the potential to bring value of the organization through the portfolio management this is also a creation by which they are evaluated and add to the portfolio. Programs are grouped within the portfolio and they include related projects, subsidiary program and program activities managed in the coordinated manner to obtain benefits not available from the managing them individually. Individual projects that have strategic importance within whether when within and the outsides of the program are considered parts of the portfolio throughout the programs or project within the portfolio may not be directly related to interdependent. They are linked to the organization's strategic plan by means of the portfolio. Organizational planning impact the project by means of project prioritization based on risk funding resource constraint and other consideration relevant to the organization's strategic objectives. Organizational planning can direct the manage of resource and support the components program and project based on rest categories, specific lines of business or general types of project. All portfolio components should exhibit certain feature that includes presenting how the organization will achieve its strategic goal and objectives through the portfolio and its components, representing the organization's investment priorities to achieve its strategy, requiring management and government governance that includes allocating and sharing resource, example human, financial assets, and intellectual across portfolio components, having the ability to be quantifiable and therefore evaluated, measured, rank, and prioritized, and having the ability to be directed or controlled to accomplish portfolio value. 1.5. What is the portfolio management? Portfolio management is the centralized management of one or more portfolios to achieve strategic objectives. If it is applications of portfolio management principles to align the portfolio and its components with the organizational strategy, portfolio management can also be viewed as a dynamic activity through which the organization invests its resources to achieve its strategic objectives by identifying, categorizing, monitoring, 
evaluating, integrating, selecting, prioritizing, optimizing, balancing, authorizing, transitioning, controlling, and termination, terminating portfolio components. 1.6 Relationship among Portfolio Management, Program Management, and Project Management Portfolio Management Balance Conflicting Demand Among Portfolio Components Allocated Resource Example Human, Financial Assets, and Intellectual Based on the Organizational Priorities and Capacity and Integrates Management Principles and Sound Practice to Deliver Business Value Align with the strategic objectives. The focus of program management is on achieving the intended benefits and business outcomes for which the program has initiated and doing so within cost and schedule. Project management is large concern with achieving specific project deliverables and that supports business and organizational objectives. The attributes of portfolio components can be further differentiated as presented at Tipul 1-1, portfolio, program, and project management should be aligned with and driven by organizational strategy and other business drivers. Conversely, portfolio program and project management contributes to the achievement and implementation of strategic objectives. Portfolio management align with the organizational strategy by selecting the best portfolio components, prioritizing the work, Providing the needed resource, overseeing or work with portfolio components manager in other implementation, supervising proper transitions into the operational environment, and enabling the achievement of portfolio value program. Management is focused on harmonizing its component and operational initiatives and managing their interdependencies in order to realize specified benefits. Project management develops and implements plan at a more detailed level to achieve a specific scope that is driven by the objectives of the portfolio or program to which it is subjected and ultimately to the organizational strategy example business, functions, and other broad strategy. Portfolio management often establish the overall directions and tone of business execution that shape and define or calibrates its components. Comparative Overview of Portfolio Program and Project Management in Table 1-1 Organizational Project Management Project, Program, and Portfolio Definition, Scope, and Chains Definition in the project, a project it is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product service or result. Program is a group of related project subsidiary program and program activities that are managed in a coordinated manner to obtain benefits not available from the managing them individually. Portfolio is a collection of project program subsidiary portfolio and operation managed as group to achieve strategic objectives. A scope a scope of the project, project have defined objectives, a scope is progressively elaborated throughout the project life cycle. In the program, the scope is program have a scope that encompass the scope of its program components. Program produce benefits to an organization by ensuring that the output and the outcomes of the program components are delivered in a coordinated and complementary manner. Portfolio, portfolio have an organizational scope that chains with the strategic objectives of the organization. Chains, project managers expect chains and implement process to keep chains managed and control. Program are managed in a manner, in a manner that accept and adapt to chains as necessary to optimize the deliver and benefits as a program components, deliver outcomes and or output. Portfolio managers continuously monitor chains in the broader internal and external environment. Planning Project managers progressively elaborate high-level information into detailed plan throughout the project life cycle. Program are managed 
using high-level plan that track the indeterminate dependencies and progress of the program components. Program plans are also used to guide planning at the components level. Portfolio managers create and maintain necessary process and communication related to the aggregate portfolio. Management Project manager manage the project team to meet the project objectives. Program are managed by the program manager who ensure that the program benefits are delivered as expected by coordinating the activities of the program components. Portfolio managers may manage or coordinate portfolio management staff or program and project staff that may have reporting responsibilities into the aggregate portfolio. Monitoring Project managers monitor and control the work of producing and product service or result that the project was undertaken to produce. Program managers monitor the progress of the program components to ensure the overall goals, schedules, budget, and benefits of the program will be met. Portfolio managers monitor strategic chains and aggregate resource, allocation, performance, result, and risk of the portfolio. Success Success is measured by product and project quality, timeless, timeliness, budget completion, and degree of customer satisfaction. A program success is measured by the program ability to deliver its intended benefits to an organization and by the program efficiency and effectiveness in the delivering those benefits. Success is measured in terms of aggregate investment, performance, and benefits, realizations of the portfolio. So this organizational project management is composed of project, program, and portfolio, which refer to definition, scope, chains, planning, management, monitoring, and success. Paragraph 1.7, Principles of Portfolio Management. Organization strategies and their objectives serve to establish a guide, an organization decision, directions, purpose, and resource allocation to achieve targeted values. These values can be broad or narrow depending on the organizational mission and vision. Extrinsic value may be market, social, political, and environmental. Intrinsic values such as competency, talent, culture, growth, development, and competitiveness are also important considerations determining organizational strategy is difficult. Achieving result is something even more challenged and complex. There are many challenges to achieve result. Chip among them are aligning strategy and execution, obtaining and maintaining senior management support, balancing what is the feasible with what is essential, determining short and long-term benefits and goals, managing resources, including capacities and capabilities, and achieving the sustaining the ability to execute in short organizations cannot afford to waste precious resources and should find way to do the right project at the right time in the right way. Portfolio management present an organized approach to achieve strategic result. The following fundamental principles are core to this standard. Strive to achieve excellence in strategic execution. Enhance transparency, responsibility, accountability, sustainability, and fairness. Balance portfolio value against overall risk. Ensure that investment in portfolio components are aligned with the organizational strategy. Obtain and maintain the sponsorship and engagement of senior management key stakeholder. Exercise active and decisive leadership for the optimizations of resource utilization. Foster a culture that embraces chains of risk and navigate complexity to enable successful outcomes. The purpose of these principles is to provide guidance for portfolio management practitioner in the conceptualization, establishment, implementations, and ongoing management of portfolio in their organization by creating strong link between strategic planning and strategic business execution. Organizations can achieve greater organization performance while improving resource utilization. 
exploiting new opportunities, and minimizing threat. One point eight relationship among portfolio management, organizational strategy, strategic business execution, and organizational project management. The organizational strategy helps define specific goals and objectives for the organization. Organizational strategy should be overreaching in encompassing organizational activities that includes operation and other related chains activities because strategies are ideas, concepts, and plans. The attainment of business value requires action for the executions of these plans Strategic planning, business development plans, operational plans, action plans. Most change activities, both internal and external to the organization, example, contract work, are performed through the portfolio components such as a program and project object activities. To maintain the sustained competitiveness, organization requires strong strategic execution to implement their portfolio program and project not just occasionally but consistently and repeatedly over time this requires organization to adopt strong discipline such as organizational project management opm opm is a strategic business execution frameworks that utilize portfolio program and project management as well as organizational enabling practices to consistently and predictability deliver organizational strategy to produce better performance, result, and business value. Value is a primary focus of portfolio management. It is defined as an entire quantifiable and qualifiable benefits, worth, and usefulness of the organization. The total sum of all tangible and intangible elements, example of tangible elements, includes monetary assets, <coughs> value is a primary focus for portfolio management. It is defined as the entire quantifiable and qual qualifiable benefits, worth, and usefulness of the organization. The total sum of all tangible and intangible elements. Examples of tangible elements include monetary assets, shareholder satisfaction, and utility. Examples of intangible elements include reputation, brand recognition, public benefits, legacy, patience, and trademarks. Business value can be defined in terms of its short, medium, or long-term realization. Value is created through the effective management of ongoing operation. 1.8.1 Portfolio Management and Organizational Strategy An organizational strategy is composed of goals and policies that provides the overall directions and focus of the organization and plans and action to achieve those goals. This serves as primary input to portfolio management. Organizations strive to possess effective management capability that will lead to longevity and success. Portfolio management is an integral part of the organization overall strategic direction. It is the vehicle through which the change initiative and strategic investment are undertaken to realize strategic goal and objectives linking portfolio management to strategy balance and use of resources to maximize the value delivered in executing program, project, and operational activities. The organizational strategy and objectives are translated into a set of initiatives that are influenced by many factors such as mark dynamic, customer and partner request, shareholder, government regulation, internal stakeholder and their aspirant, the competitor plans and action. These initiatives establish a portfolio of programs, project, and operations components to be executed in the specific period. Vision, mission, organizational strategy, and objectives, portfolio management, strategic planning, and management or programs, project, and operation, management of ongoing operation, 
recurring activities, producing value, management of authorized program and project, projectized activity, increasing value production and capability, organizational resource in pyramid type. Figure 1 does to the organizational context of portfolio management. Figure 1 does to illustrate the relationship and direction that vision, mission, and organizational strategy and objectives provide to portfolio management, strategic planning, and the management of programs, projects, and operations. Portfolio management aim to enhance key business performance indicators such as ROI or improving societal, societal value by providing a holistic framework for strategy execution. Portfolio management requires constant alignment to strategic objectives and the ability to envision alternative feature consequence to support and enhance strategic portfolio decision making. Awareness of portfolio components with its any many relationship and dependencies as shown in Figure 1 does to enhance the portfolio manager ability to envision possible future issue and risk. The shaded sections in Figure 1 does to portfolio management is strategic planning and management of program project and operations depict the relationship between the organizational strategy and the objectives with management activities of initiatives and the operational activities. Portfolio performance is monitored against the organizational strategy and objectives with performance feedback, providing input for potential change in a strategic direction for the organization. Portfolio management also requires integrations with organizational planning and business analysis to analyze current business risk. This analysis may drive strategic change to enable the plan, active, and future portfolio components to continue to support strategic goals. When organizational planning determines that a goal is no longer valid for the organization, the portfolio manager often working together with the governance team reviews the portfolio and reassess any portfolio components that are in place to achieve the absolute goal with the intent of the adjusting or terminating any components that no longer contribute to a strategic goal. Portfolio management ensures continuous alignment to strategic objectives, which is paramount because organization can undergo a strategy definition as a result of shareholder pressure for a greater profitability, changing market condition, balance the needs of the chains with the needs of ongoing operations, and so forth. Something a change in the tactics of the implementations of strategic objectives may also result in portfolio chains. The portfolio should always be realigned and rebalanced after important decisions are made in senior executive level that result in changes to a strategy and or, or a strategic objectives. This realignment and balance of the portfolio should also be shared with the employees who play critical roles as a stakeholder in programs and projects. Through the review of strategic tactics, tactical and operational capabilities and gaps, portfolio management provides feedback that is useful for the planning and management of resources monitoring and health of portfolio and working with program and project management on the executions of the portfolio components. 1.8.2 Strategic Business Execution and Organizational Project Management Portfolio management, program management, and project management are domain of the organizational project management frameworks for managing the capability to deliver value. Organizational Project Management OPM is a framework in which portfolio program and project management are integrated with organizational enables in order to achieve strategic objectives. OPM enables an organization to leverage its results and implementation success and supports a strong organization within a competitive and rapidly changing environment. An organization establish goals 
that will move it towards its visions and that have objectives consisting of the measurable steps for goals achievement executions of portfolio components should focus on achieving these strategic objectives and ultimately the goal of the organization. Once a portfolio component is authorized, the program or project manager assumes direct management control of the portfolio components and applies management process to enable the work to be done. A responsible program or project manager will monitor plan versus actual performance and provide ongoing feedback to the portfolio manager. Portfolio components do not exist in isolation. Each portfolio includes diverse components as parts of the entire organizational system of in iterated components and each portfolio is simultaneously a part of entire organizational system. Portfolio management practitioner works in a complex environment with overlapping and often conflicting interests. Under such condition, practitioners are often challenged by information overload and not enough actionable intelligence to comprehend such as environment and be in position to anticipate behavior. It is necessary to study the portfolio as the system, program, and project are the temporary vehicle that delivers change. Therefore, a system perspectives allows for a better understanding of the goals of the change initiative and of the vehicles delivering these goals, the components of the portfolio. The ultimate goal of linking portfolio management with organizational strategy and strategic business execution is to establish a balanced, realistic plan that will help the organization achieve its goal. The impact of the portfolio management plan upon strategy is attained through six performance management domain and the portfolio life cycle as illustrated in figure 1 industry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is portfolio life cycle composed of initiation, planning, execution, and optimization. In initiation stage is composed of portfolio capacity and capability management and portfolio governance in planning stage portfolio stakeholder engagement in execution stage portfolio value management portfolio risk management in the optimization is portfolio strategic management figure one does three portfolio management performance domain the six portfolio management performance domain represents the collections of good practice the following provides the brief descriptions of its portfolio management performance domain, including the portfolio life cycle. These are further elaborated in subsequent sections of this standard. Portfolio life cycle section 2. Portfolios are a major investment of organization resources and like programs and projects. Portfolios go through a life cycle that includes initiation, planning, execution, and optimization. The diligent management of the life cycle by balancing stability with adaptability is crucial for managing activity in today's constantly changing environment. Portfolio Strategic Management Section 3 Each portfolio component should be aligned to one or more strategic objectives and the positive impact should be constantly monitored. This is what is meant by the term strategic management in the portfolio. Strategic business, strategic management, and portfolio management context, and it is achieved by the clear understanding of the strategic objectives and how important each component is in relation to these objectives. Any proposal for the including components in the portfolio should describe how it supports an attainment of intended business value. Portfolio governance section four. Through open and transparent governance, including process for the categorizing, prioritizing, selecting, and approving portfolio components, key stakeholders are more likely to accept the decisions and agree with the process even when they, are, they may not fully endorse the decision made. Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management Section 5 The selections of portfolio components and the roadmap for their implementation is balanced against the organization's current capacity 
and capability with the potential or bringing in addition resources. The portfolio view allows for future planning to develop capacity and capabilities as required. This is particularly important when resourcing the balancing program and project components against the operational components. Portfolio Stakeholder Engagement Section 6 Key portfolio stakeholders require active expectation management by staying aligned and connected. Portfolios improve the probability of delivering value. Active communication is primarily vehicle through which the exchange of information improve transparency and the stakeholder by one by in all achieved. Portfolio Value Management Section 7 Portfolio Value Management enables investment in portfolio to yield an expected return as defined by the organizational strategy. Value contribution and sustainment need to be monitored throughout the components execution as well as after components closure. Portfolio Risk Management Section 8 Portfolio Risk Management evaluates risk positive opportunities negative threat at the portfolio level and consider how those risks may impact the achievement of the portfolio strategic plan and objectives. This requires consistent monitoring of uncertainty within both the internal and external environment of the portfolio. 1.9 Portfolio Components and their Interrelationship A portfolio is a system or collections of entitles called portfolio components plus a collections of interrelationship among these components. Portfolio management share a common purpose to achieve the strategic objectives of the organization. The portfolio system is managed as an integrated whole related to the other systems of the organization. As a portfolio systems and portfolios hierarchy result in the parent-child relationship with its portfolio components, just as a program has a parent-child relationship with its project. Consequently, the portfolio components are also managed based on the standards such as a guide to the project management body of knowledge PM book and the standard for program management and are periodically measured to gauge the likelihood that the portfolio components will achieve their goals. A larger portfolio can, can contain subsidiary portfolios which in themselves are components, collections of programs, projects, or operations managed as group to achieve strategic objectives. Subsidiary portfolios can exist in different persons including management grouping, available funds, customer requirements, schedule resource, stakeholders, different sponsor, etc. 1.9.1 Program Management Program management is the applications of knowledge, skills, tools, and technique to a program to meet the project program requirements and to obtain benefits than control not available by managing project individually. It involves align, aligning multiple components to achieve the program goals and allow for optimized or integrated cost schedule, effort, or other parameter. Although the benefits of the project often arise after the project ends, some benefits can appear during the program life cycle as a single project within the program and components within the program are related through a common outcomes or delivery of the collective sets of benefits if the relationship among the project is only that of a shared client, seller, technology, resource, etc. The effort should be managed as a portfolio of independent project rather than as a program. In program, it is important to integrate and control the interdependencies among the components. The program manager accomplish this by working within the following five iterated and interdependent program management performance domain, program strategy alignment, Program Benefits Management, Program Stakeholder Engagement, Program Governance, and Program Life Cycle Management. Through Structured Governance, Functions, and Domain Program Management enables 
appropriate components, interdependencies, and helps determine the optimal approach for managing them through a structured oversight and governance. Program management enables appropriate planning, control, delivery, transition, and benefits sustainment across the components within the program to achieve the program's intended strategic benefits. Program management provides a framework for managing related effort, considering key factors such as strategic benefits, coordinated planning, complex interdependencies that may create new emergent issue and risk, deliverable integration, resource pools, and optimized pacing. 1.9.2 Project Management Project management is the applications of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to protect activities to meet project requirements by providing the project deliverables. It is accomplished through the appropriate applications and integrations of project management processes identified for the project. The specific project circumstances may influence the constraint on which the project, the project manager needs to focus. Managing a project typically includes identifying, analyzing, documenting, and prioritizing requirements, addressing the various needs, concern, and expectations of stakeholders as a project is planned and carried out, setting and maintaining active communication with the stakeholders, balancing and competing project constraints, which includes but not limited to, and project scope quality schedule, budget, resources, and risk, and successfully producing and handling over the project deliverables. The relationship among these factors are such that if any one factor changes, at least one other factor is likely to be affected. For example, if the schedule is shortened, the budget of the needs to be increased, to add additional resources to complete the same amount of work in less time. When a budget increase is not possible, the scope or quality may be reduced to deliver product or service in less time for the time budget. For the same budget, project stakeholder may have differing, differing ideas as to which factor are the most important, creating an even greater challenge. Changing the project requirements may create additional risk. The project team should be able to assess the situation, balance and demand, and maintain active communication with the stakeholder in order to deliver the successful project. It is important to the project team to be conscious of how the success of the project fits into the organization's measurements of success, which can be conveyed as part of portfolio management processes. Because of the potential of change, the project management plan is iterative and goes through progressive elaboration throughout the project life cycle. Progressive elaboration involves continuous improving and detailing a plan, detailed and specific information, and more accurate estimate become available. Depending on the chosen project management frameworks, predictive, adaptive, and combinations of both. Progressive elaboration allows a project management team to navigate and adapt to emergent issue and risk to generate a suitable risk response plan and to manage to a greater level of details as a project evolves. 1.9.3 Operations Management Operations is the business function responsible for planning coordinating, resourcing, and controlling the repeatable, usually cyclical day-to-day -day activities of the organization. This business function is called business as usual, BAU. Operations management consists of the various procedure and their assignment. This includes roles with lines of delegation, level of authority, and mechanism to report escalate and decide how to achieve the best value from the resource available within the constraint and risk. 
when the ongoing pattern of activity is subject to change by external factor, for example, or when it may be improved by discretionary application of change, then resources within the portfolio are diverted into programs and project. Project may be further group as program as a result of a link between their expected benefits or shared resources and into portfolios because of a linkage among any of all of their schedule, resources, stakeholders, or strategic objectives. The portfolio of operational chains of project link, a subset of recurring activities, managed as project to the organizational strategy as these activities are executed and deliver result. This underpin the executions of the organizational strategic portfolio components, the output from the operations, planning, and organizational strategy, and objectives result in portfolios that guide program and project object activities. As the portfolio components move into the initiation, the respective areas use their management practice to manage deliveries as the portfolio components are executed. Portfolio management maintains the relationship among them to monitor progress, take corrective action if needed, and maintain alignment with a strategic goal. Therefore, at the highest level, strategic and operational portfolio components are ultimately managed as a single comprehensive portfolio for works that is undertaken by the organization. This holistic view of change by operation components combined with the organizational change initiative, program, and project components optimize the effect balance of the organizational resources. 1.10 Rule of the Portfolio Manager Portfolio managers have the responsibility for the establishment and implementations of portfolio management where program and project managers primarily focus on doing the work right. The portfolio managers primarily focus on doing the right work. The portfolio governance enables the right work to be performed at the right time and with adequate resource allocated. A governing body establishes the governance of portfolio, program, and project by setting guidelines for them as well as linking them to the organizational strategy and verifying the overall result. Furthermore, portfolio managers are responsible for ensuring proper communication and coordinations among portfolio components. Portfolio managers often play a number of important roles, quite often those of architect, enables and facilitator of the portfolio management principles, processes, and practices, as well as the role of the portfolio analyst. As architect, portfolio managers works with their organizational counterpart to evaluate the portfolio management plan assess and define needed skills, design appropriate processes, and adjust this process accordingly. As enables portfolio management may seek ways to continually improve the applied portfolio management processes and adjust portfolio components towards better alignment with change in strategy to ensure continual relevance to the organization. As facilitators in execution mode, portfolio managers manage the day-to-day -day operations of the portfolio management processes. This includes conveying of the portfolio governing body, how the portfolio components as a whole are aligned and realigned with the strategic goal. Capturing the portfolio impact and value creation against strategic directives. Providing appropriate recommendations or options for action. Influence and manage the process of resource allocation. Overseeing and coordinating with portfolio components managers on implementation. Receiving information on portfolio components, performance and progress. And reporting portfolios progress to top management. The portfolio manager review the portfolio 
for balance, example, short-term versus long-term or risk versus return, and negotiates agreement with relevant strategic stakeholder, example, executive management and operations. Portfolio managers also sequence portfolio components to account for portfolio components dependencies and their effect, the balancing of constraint resources and other organizational considerations. In addition, portfolio managers ensure that timelines for portfolio managed processes are maintained and followed and that managers of portfolio components subsidiary portfolios program, project, and operations receive and provide the information required under the portfolio management processes. Portfolio managers are the primary conduit between managers of portfolio components and portfolio stakeholder. The portfolio managers regularly communicated information and recommend criteria of governance action and decision such as deciding when program and project should be proceed be reprioritized, be changed and adapt to a strategic change, be terminated or be suspended before the originally planned completion dates. The portfolio manager also makes appropriate recommendation to portfolio governing bodies regarding specific directives for com 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 components and improvements of portfolio practice towards ensuring that the intended value of delivered to the organization. The portfolio manager needs to be aware of how the portfolio is related to the organizational vision, mission, and strategic goals, and identify, assess, and measure the business value that the portfolio is adding to the organization's objectives. Throughout the portfolio life cycle, the portfolio manager should be able to make risk, monitor, and prioritize portfolio components resolve issues and needs senior level attention, develop and improve processes, and apply organizational knowledge and manage skills. In addition, the prior portfolio manager should be able to effectively manage the organizational organization's resource and provide timely information for stakeholder communication requirements. In order to succeed in this role, the portfolio manager should adhere to the competence depicted by the PMI Talent Triangle, technical project management skills, leadership capabilities, and strategic and business management expertise, be able to form a lead expert team and have expertise in all of the following areas, portfolio strategic management and align, alignment. A portfolio manager should understand and monitor chains in the organizational strategy and objectives and be aware of how the portfolio supports them, both financial and non-financial benefits and rest to the organizational need to be considered. The portfolio manager should also have business analysis skills as well as financial knowledge. Portfolio management method and technique. The portfolio manager should have expertise in the applications and analysis of portfolio management method and technique that includes both qualitative and quantitative measure as prescribed or detected by the organization's leadership for their various portfolio management tools can assist with aligning the portfolio components with the strategic objectives. Such tools provide valuable method of organizing prioritizing and categorizing valuable information regarding and performance of portfolio components plus validated reporting to portfolio governance. Stakeholder engagement. An effective portfolio manager should be adept at working with portfolio stakeholder to maximize portfolio and organizational performance. A portfolio manager should communicate frequently with the stakeholders using nodes and technique appropriate for the context. The portfolio manager should facilitate communication among stakeholders to negotiate agreement, resolve conflict, and make timely and agile portfolio decision. Leadership and management skills. 
leadership and management skills, an effective portfolio manager should have well-developed leadership and management skills and be able to interact with senior executive management and other stakeholders. Further, a portfolio manager should be adept at managing people through recruitment and retention, goal-setting performance evaluation, reward and recognition, succession planning and employee develop, and should have highly developed communication skills. Employee development may include mentoring, coaching, motivating, and training of personnel. Risk management. An effective portfolio manager should manage risk that are both internal and external to the organization. For risk evaluation, consideration is given to portfolio dynamics such as fiscal constraint, co-benefits, windows of opportunity, portfolio components constraint, changing portfolio environment, condition example market change, and stakeholder dynamics. Organizational change management. Organizational change management, an effective portfolio manager should manage the impact of change of an organization. Change readiness is measured at the portfolio program and project level in each case, the level and range of metrics will be different depending on the example of the system. The technology, the stakeholders and deliverables are expected benefits. Change readiness can be measured by the program and project managers, but is better assessed at the portfolio level. Systems thinking, this approach relates to understanding how different components of the portfolio are iterated and interdependent of one another. It can, it can not, the ability to think through which portfolio component should be selected to contribute to the organizational strategy as a top-down approach. Moreover, systems thinking enhance the capability to visualize the contribution value added by each of the component of the portfolio strategic objectives. A bottom-up view, a system approach may facilitate the proper selections of necessary components to execute the portfolio, aid with proper resource allocation, and ensure that the selected components are aligned towards achieving the business goal of the organization. Paragraph 1.11 are the rules in portfolio management. This section summarizes additional important rules in portfolio management, including sponsor, portfolio governance body, portfolio program, and project management office PMO. Sometimes a PMO of the whole organization is established often called an enterprise PMO, EPMO, portfolio analysis, program managers, project managers, change control board, program and project team member and subject matter expert, business analyst and functional managers in charge of operations included in the portfolio. Some organizations employ a portfolio analyst who work closely with the portfolio manager and the EPMO. The responsibilities of the portfolio analyst may be as follow. A. Identify the track interdependencies between portfolio components and facilitate their relation, resolution or management at the portfolio level. And B. Identify portfolio management process gaps, recommended improvement and help implement them. The portfolio analyst Roles can be combined with the other roles and tailored to meet organizational needs. Further, a number of organizations have a change control board that works in practice as a steering committee for project. In many organizations, splitting responsibilities between the project sponsor and project steering committee and portfolio governance is an important issue. 1.11.1 is sponsors. A sponsor is a person or group who provide resources and support for the portfolio. If it is a group, then individual accountability should be clearly defined. The portfolio sponsor usually participates in the portfolio governance body. Sponsors are accountable of resource allocations and enabling success 
sponsors champion and approval of portfolio and or portfolio components project program subsidiary portfolio and operations and are also accountable for the ultimate success of the portfolio 1.11.1 sponsors this is the continuation at the portfolio level a sponsor is a champion of the entire portfolio and should work closely with the portfolio manager in the establishment and on going management of the portfolio and its processes once the portfolio components is approved the sponsor helps the portfolio manager ensure that the components perform according to the organizational strategy and objectives sponsors are also support the portfolio manager management to recommend portfolio and portfolio components changes or a closure to align with the organizational strategic chains Sponsors should be vigilant re regarding any changes in the portfolio components that might affect the achievements of the strategic objectives towards which the portfolio has been constantly aligned. 1.11.2 Portfolio Governance Body Portfolio governance is the framework functions and processes established by the governing body and set by the organizational to guide portfolio management activities and make decision about investment and priorities for the portfolio and ensure that the portfolio management processes are followed to sustain the organization's leadership and sponsorship from the portfolio governance body are essential for the portfolio manager. The portfolio governing body is made up of one or more individuals with the prerequisite authority knowledge and experience to ensure the alignment of the portfolio components with the organizational strategy sometimes portfolio governance is performed by subgroup that have specific responsibilities towards the portfolio governance example selections prioritizations of portfolio components investment decision over steering portfolio progress and chains review boards to decide on chains proposal this governing body usually has the authority to evaluate the portfolio performance and to make resourcing, investment, and priority decision as needed. Chain's recommendation may include new portfolio components, the suspensions of chains of existing portfolio components, and array allocations of resource among portfolio components. The recommendation may be complex with significant organizational constraint especially concerning reallocations of resources often portfolio governance does not only make the recommendation but is also responsible for their approval processes portfolio governance is paramount to the portfolio decision making it informs the guide guides decision related to strategic alignment investment and the setting of priorities proper governance is essential to crucial to the enforce accountability optimize investment escalate issue to decision makers and improve communication 1.11.3 portfolio program and or project management office the term pmo refer to the portfolio program and or project management office the PMO supports portfolio program or project function respectively at the portfolio level. A PMO which may be referred to as an enterprise PMO, EPMO, or center of excellence as an organizational entity that provides a wide variety of capabilities and processes supporting portfolio management. This may include some or all of the following identifying analyzing coordinating negotiating monitoring and controlling portfolio components supporting components proposal and evaluations facilitating prioritization authorization terminations of components and facilitating the allocations of resources in alignment with the with organizational strategy and objectives developing and maintaining portfolio program and project frameworks and methodologies 
managing knowledge regarding the project management discipline, including good practice and lesson learned, providing program and project progresses, information and metrics, reporting, analyzing key performance indicator, KPI, example expenditure, defect, resources to the portfolio governance process, managing, including monitoring and controlling, such as regulatory governance, compliance, and benefits. Realization across the entire portfolio. Assisting with risk strategy development and risk identification and communicating risk and issues related to portfolio components. Coordinating communication across portfolio components and developing and conducting training and mentoring of human resource in portfolio management skills, tools, and technique. The Portfolio Management Office has a focus and a specific responsibility for the centralized management and coordinations of the portfolio that lie within its domain. The responsibilities of this office may range from providing portfolio support functions to actually managing the portfolio. Usually, in this case, the portfolio manager is also the head of the PMO. The structure and functions of the Portfolio Management Office vary with the need of the organizations. For example, the PMO life cycle, the PMO model, and the PMO critical success factor. The Portfolio Management Office may act as a stakeholder throughout the portfolio life cycle and may recommend the selections, terminations, or initiations of actions necessary to ensure that the portfolio remains aligned with the organization's strategic objectives. The Portfolio Management Office may improve the following service to a project or program management office, defining and developing the portfolio management strategy, provide portfolio oversight and managing the overall portfolio value and portfolio components benefits, defining portfolio vision and mission statement management structure, and methodology, best practice, and a standard for use as guidelines while formulating the methodology and a standard for the project and program management, aggregating and providing performance result of the portfolio components based on predefined metrics, identifying risk, analyzing risk, and planning risk response at the portfolio level, and forecasting supply and demand for the portfolio and optimizing the portfolio resource allocation. Those supply or demand are analyzed and broken down for each portfolio components. The rules and responsibility and activities of the project or program management office are addressed in the relevant PMI standard, a guide of the project management body of knowledge and a standard for program management 1.11.4 Program Managers Program Managers are responsible for ensuring that the overall program structure and program management process align with the portfolio management plan. The Program Managers ensure that the program delivers the intended benefits. Detailed information on program management may be found in the standard for program management. Portfolio management support the program managers by providing the information needed to make decisions that guide the program and by providing administrative support in managing schedule, budget, risk, and other areas required for effective program management. A program manager works with the portfolio manager, the portfolio management team, and or the portfolio management office to provide information such as program performance against goal. 1.11.5 Project Managers Project Managers are responsible for the effective initiation, planning, execution, monitoring, and controlling, and closing as assigned project within the portfolio in accordance with corresponding objectives and specification. Program and project team members fulfill specific roles towards the successful execution of its portfolio components, detailed information in project Management may be found in the Guide of the Project Management Body of Knowledge, PM Book. Project managers provide project performance indicators directly or indirectly to the Portfolio Manager, PMO, or Governing Body. 
this information is used along with other criteria to monitor progress for each portfolio components and der derive overall portfolio progress issue assumption and risk emerging from components dependencies moreover such information is valuable for determining which project should process be modified be suspended or be terminated and to communicate with stakeholders further the key management rules within the portfolio frameworks listed in section 1.11 the operational managers of each organization have the role of realizing the outcomes and benefits from the successfully implemented portfolio components. Chapter 2, the Portfolio Life Cycle Portfolio Life Cycle This section provides information on the portfolio life cycle. The following major sections are addressed. 2.1 Overview, 2.2 Guiding Principles, 2.3 Ongoing Life Cycle, 2.4 Portfolio Management Information System PMIS, 2.5 Governance with the Portfolio Life Cycle, 2.1 Overview. The portfolio life cycle is the ongoing process and function that occurs to a set of portfolios, program, and project, and operation within the continuous time frame. In today's global market, the portfolio life cycle needs to be adapted and flexible to constantly changing needs from all influences, internal and external, so organization can remain competitive and financially stable. One or more portfolios can exist within the life cycle of several portfolio exist. They can be centralized or decentralized in terms of management within the governance structure in place. For example, a research and development portfolio can be decentralized while another portfolio may be damaged centrally. The control required to manage a portfolio should be flexible to adapt to the complexities of multiple portfolio scenario. Selecting and authorization of portfolio components can be parts of the periodic example annual planning or strategic review with quarterly and or monthly updates. Once established portfolio management is an ongoing practice, performance monitoring of the portfolio is the ongoing adjustment to the portfolio components may be required when change to the organization occur. Portfolio management starts with the initiation of its portfolio and may continue indefinitely or in until the portfolio is closed. A strategic planning organizational performance metrics and product and service design are all critical elements as input into the portfolio life cycle. Underlaying this input is a thorough understanding of the portfolio's value to the organization, defining the value driving from the portfolio's functions, product, and services from all perspective organization, customers, additional stakeholders, helps eliminate non-value added program, project, or activities. The value stream should be mapped to understand which value added programs Project and activities are essential to enterprise strategic objectives and conversely, which are of little or no benefits. 2.2 Guiding Principles The guiding portfolio management principles described in Section 1.7 of this standard influence all stages or the portfolio life cycle specific impact from principles within individual stage of the life cycle are mentioned in section 2.3 to 2.5. 2.3 ongoing life cycle. The portfolio's continuous life cycle consists of several stages. Initiation, planning, execution, and optimization as the portfolio progresses through its life cycle. Informations and decisions are passed within them between each of these stages, say figure 2-1. 2.4 Guiding Principles 
this is ongoing and not necessarily sequential. For example, a portfolio could undergo several iterations of planning and then process to the executions within the short time frame based on the number of factors, both internal and external. Within the same business chains, life cycle of the portfolio can be refreshed with the additional or deletion modifications of the portfolio components. Replaning, replanning can occur when the portfolio mix is reviewed at the end of each business chain's life cycle when a top-down alignment is taken into account all stages when the portfolio including initiations are adaptable, flexible, and fluid. As management decision all made with the portfolio life cycle, the portfolio can be changed and update to adapt the internal and external factor. For example, if a new government regulation comes into effect after periodic planning, the portfolio management team may have to adjust management plan to align to the new regulatory requirements. Figure 2 does to show an example of major activities that are likely to occur by each stage. Figure 2.1 Information and Decision Flow within the Portfolio Life Cycle example. So this diagram is customer value benefits derived from the product and services, strategic planning, vision, mission, goals, and metrics, product and services, life cycle, design, and development, organizational value, business case, and model development, external factor, legal, regulatory, government, etc. Portfolio intra and interdependencies, portfolio life cycle stages ongoing. Strategic planning, initiation, planning, execution, optimization, monitor and control, performance metrics, and operation. Portfolio life cycle example, major activities stage ongoing. Initiation, its portfolio planning, execution, and optimization. Portfolio level, initiation stage, portfolio strategy, and management plan created. Portfolio management process, vision, governance, and stakeholder. Government, governance and communication planning define. Ideation process define. Portfolio selection and prioritization criteria define. Portfolio charter define. Value metrics define. Financial and non financial. Portfolio roadmap. In planning stage, yearly goals, objectives set. Revisit governance structure, capacity and capability planning, portfolio strategic alignment updated, portfolio metrics defined, optimization transitions of portfolio, portfolio roadmap defined, adaptive portfolio, continuous realign to a strategy based change to a strategy, business and technology factor, time frame yearly and reoccurring, portfolio plans revised. In execution stage, optimization transitions of portfolio, portfolio health reported status and metrics, define and resource capacity, planning adjustment, governance decisions via change management portfolio, adaptive portfolio continues realign to strategy base changes to strategy business and technology factor. In optimization stage, re optimizations of portfolio, lesson learned portfolio level, portfolio close, demand and resource capacity planning adjustment, governance document revisited, value metrics revisited, adaptive portfolio realigned to strategy based on adjusted business factor. So that is a portfolio level. We will proceed to components level. In initiation stage of the each portfolio, initial component list created, components list reviewed based on alignment to strategy and prioritization criteria, component list validation feedback incorporated into visited planning. In planning stage, in of components level, feasibility review and POC proof of concept. Portfolio components list review, iterative, and finalization. 
new programs project solicited via idea ideations process, review new components and authorize adaptive portfolio components adjusted based on change to customer value strategy product and services. For execution stage of components level, government governance decision via change management components, new programs project solicited via ideally process, review new components authorize, feasibility review and proof of con concept, pilot launch in the support of proof of concept, governance decisions via change management component, exception based components authorize, in the optimization stage of components level, revisit business case for adjustment, output of pilot components success and proof of concept, portfolio components close, lesson learned components level, benefits accountability, define migrate to op operation, artifacts achieved for components. Figure 2 does two example of portfolio life cycle major activities. Supported process are organizational specific utilization to keep the portfolio aligned with the governance control and measure this supportive process includes communication, financial risk, and dependency management. They are defined and aligned to the portfolio during the initiation phase. Dependency management is primarily focused on the impact to and from portfolio components caused by the various factors such as resource and time constraint, financial cost project outcomes, and risk profile. 2.3.1 Initiation Initiation is an important stage. It is kick off or informed by the formal release of business and or organization objectives and goals or to provide the management structure for previous disparate components it sets the, approve, the approach and principles of major processes that define how the portfolio and its component will be managed throughout the life cycle. The primary goal of this stage includes, but are not limited to, validating business and operational strategy, identifying the portfolio components, including the scope, and defining the long-term roadmap with financial goals, performance metrics, communications, governance, stakeholders' definitions and rules, an ongoing management plan for the portfolio and its components. During this stage, the following key processes are first discuss and set up governance frameworks, communication planning, prioritization criteria, portfolio performance metrics, and portfolio risk management. The portfolio governance plan, the charter, are created as detailed in Section 3. Discussion occurs regarding how the strategy of the organization ties to the portfolio and its components at the high level. 2.3.2 Planning the primary goal of the planning stage are to develop the portfolio management plan and reach agreement on management of portfolio components in scope, budgeting requirements to successful execution components, identifications of interdependencies between the portfolios and their components, identifications of risk and issue, and development of response plan, resourcing requirements, human financial assets and intellectual. Prioritizations of portfolio components, confirmations of government body sponsor and stakeholder accountability, portfolio metrics to measure success, financial and non-financial, scope of components within the portfolio and product and or services requirements and specification. During periodic portfolio strategy planning, the portfolio business model is revisited to ensure that this is aligned with the customer values, benefits, and business organizational strategic goal, initial optimizations of the portfolio occurs as a result because of the portfolio is formally aligned to a strategy during this piece. 
portfolio metrics are reviewed to ensure that they are tied to realistic goals, objectives, and the customer strategic and financial levels. Existing components agreed upon during the initiation stage are reviewed in more details, including scope, timing, budget, risk involved, resourcing requirements, human financial assets, and intellectual and interdependencies. Additionally, the prioritization criteria are reviewed based on new components introduced of their performance since the last strategic review. Chains are proposed and reviewed based on this criteria. Capital needs are compared against available funding and demand and resource capacity plan are set based on the needs of the portfolio. During replanning and portfolio is reviewed again. Components including subsidiary portfolio are revised based on the needs of the organization. Finally, portfolio management plans are reviewed and updated based on the relevant status of components and this time as well as overall portfolio risk and or issues. 2.3.3 Execution The primary goals of the execution stage are to lead delivery and all components within each portfolio actively manage and solve risk and issue cross-interdependencies and within the portfolio and its components, facilitate portfolio and components communication, including status reporting and various level, reprioritize and change subsidiary portfolios as needed, monitor and control. Monitor benefits, realization potential based on components delivery and manage portfolio assets, and resources limited to the portfolio. Portfolio execution is performed through its various components and operations. The health of the portfolio is reported through the regular status report and by reviewing the components performance metrics and were established during the planning piece. Proposed chains are reviewed based on ongoing organization needs. Changes in the organizational environment may necessitate to reprioritizations of components or the introductions of new components into the portfolio. These new components are reviewed as required based on unplanned critical needs, internal or external or positive outcomes of proof of concept pilot of disability studies. 2.3.4 Optimization Optimization is the process of making portfolio as effective as possible by maximizing available condition, constraint, and resources. Typically, the primary goal of the portfolio optimization is to ensure that the available human materials and financial resources are best applied to the appropriate remaining components of the portfolio. Although some organization is scheduled regular optimization session, typically this activity is triggered when components are added or closed. During this stage, the portfolio manager facilitates discussion with the stakeholder to ensure that the organizations realize the intended benefits for the remaining components. While lesson learned for each of the closed components is not a part of this process, the result might add value to the discussion. Similarly, benefits, realization from the components that had been transitions into the operational work of the organizations may also provide credibility evidence for optimization. 2.3.5 Monitor and Control Monitor and control is one of the critical positive supportive activities for monitoring portfolio performance and recommending changes to the portfolio components mix and portfolio components performance and compliance with organizational standard. The purpose of monitor and control is to understand when change needs to be made to the portfolio or to the portfolio management process. This process includes execution, documentation, and communication of the decisions and the resulting action taken. For Portfolio Management Information System, PMIS. The Portfolio Management Information System, PMIS, consists of the tools and techniques used to gather, integrate, visualize, preserve, and disseminate the output of the organizational portfolio 
management. It is used to support all aspects of portfolio management may be integrated with the business management tools, the organization enterprise resource planning system, the business process management system tools to measure the optimized business process, process modeling tools, etc., and may be manual or automated process depending on the needs of the organization. This system supports overall organizational visibility, standardization, measurement, and process improvement, and can facilitate effective decision-making by providing executive management with the key performance metrics and target collections analyze, analysis and reporting. The PMIS is a powerful tool for portfolio governance because it provides transparency and clarifies responsibility and accountability within the portfolio. Automated tools may include commercial project portfolio management PPM application as well as an information gathering and administration system with interfaces to other organizational automated system. The PMIS is sometimes a collection of a spreadsheet rather than the automated tools during the early stage of the organizational maturity. An effective PMIS enables the portfolio managers to define, analyze, design, produce, collect, and integrate necessary data elements to manage and support successful portfolio. It provides an integrated system solution for reporting or project-based work and may be interconnected with the management information system of the whole organization. The PMIS includes tools and process, such as portfolio categorization with components, dependencies, owner, and other stakeholder, etc. Centralized dashboard for executive reporting and management decision-making, key performance metrics agreed to track. Software automation tools to replace manual processes. Centralized online document repository and version control. Change or configuration management. Workflow management and documentations of escalation communication. Historical and current information on portfolio risk issues, assumptions and dependencies. Integrations with other applications and integrated business process management tools financial management process and systems, example, budget tracking, cost control and scheduled control process and system, example, earn value management, and enterprise resource planning tools, including capabilities, cost and schedule, REST database and associated analysis tools, issue database and associated analysis tools, communication management process and tools, and business process management tools. It should be noted that integration among all management tools play an important part towards the validated, consolidated communications of information and knowledge for the whole organization. The PMIS needs to be a comprehensive documented dynamic set of policies, processes, tools, plans, and controls for portfolio management. When properly implemented, the PMIS provides directions and integrate information forms of individual project program management system. The use of an effective PMIS provides a way to routinely analyze and quantify the value added of each portfolio components and provide input for portfolio components valuations and prioritization. Specifically, the PMIS allow portfolio managers to answer questions such as of the following which portfolio components will be best support the organization business strategies and goal? Is there a program or project that provides the anticipated business result as demonstrated by portfolio metrics? Does each portfolio components have appropriate resources, including staff with the right skill sets? Does the PMIS reflect the real overall status of the portfolio? And is it the ultimate source of decision making? A comprehensive PMIS should support process that address continuing performance challenges for ongoing portfolio components as well as processes that concentrate on the portfolio evolution, including the selections of new project and portfolio components termination procedure. 2.5 Governance within the portfolio life cycle. 
developing the portfolio governance framework, which is the integral part of organizational governance early in the portfolio life cycle is a crucial step. It can be one of the most important decision that an organization makes to determine the rigor and level of portfolio governance needed in an organization. There are similar factors to consider, including type of components within the portfolio and the required number of subsidiary portfolios, legal or regulatory programs and projects which typically need firm governance, level of administration resource to support the governance, documentation, communication, and, ex and internal audit processes. Agility required to adapt the portfolio to frequently changing market needs, technological change, etc., based on the natures of the organization's business strategy at specific points in time. Centralized versus centralized governance required based on the size of the scope of the organization, example, global, domestic, or local only. Locations of governance and resource processes integrated tools and techniques, good practices required for the successful executions of portfolio components, audit consisting of the regular review for portfolio components, both internal and external example, government or legal agencies, and performance metrics, including financial, non-financial, and portfolio focus. The level of complexity introduced by the portfolio components has to be investigated and complexity navigation based on the standardized framework should be planned and followed as part of portfolio governance framework. Developing the portfolio governance framework early in the portfolio life cycle is crucial. The portfolio components governance frameworks need to be aligned to portfolio governance. It is much more effective to set up governance correctly from the start with the optimal level of rigor with, with, and without major delays to achieve the maximum benefits for the portfolio components that already exist. Some examples of governance delay could be related to ineffective portfolio management or a lack of engagement from senior management stakeholder to ensure that the governance in place is comprehensive downstream impact of such challenge could include communication gaps, financial resource, priority conflict, or poor risk management. The governance of portfolio is further discussed in Section 4 of this standard. This is the end of the first uh, 1 to 40 pages of standard for portfolio management under PMI. The next continuation is Chapter 3, Portfolio Strategic Management in page 40. To page 80. Thank you. The Project Management Institute Global Standard, the Standard for Portfolio Management, 4th edition, 2018. This recorded is until 45, 1 to 45 to 50 items. Out of 140, this will be divided by 3. Table of Contents Introduction 1.1 Purpose of the Standard and Portfolio Management 1.2 Audience of the Standard for Portfolio Management 1.3 What is Portfolio? 1.4 Relationship among Portfolios, Program, Project, and Operations 1.5 What is Portfolio Management? 1.6 Relationship among Portfolio Management, Program Management, and Project Management 1.7 Principles of Portfolio Management 1.8 Relationship among Portfolio Management Organizational Strategy Strategic Business Executions and Organization Project Management 1.8.1 Portfolio Management and Organizational Strategy 1.8.2 Strategic Business Execution and Organizational Project Management 1.9 Portfolio Components and their Interrelationship 1.9.1 Program Management, 1.8.2 Strategic Business Executions and Organizational Project Management, 1.9 Portfolio Components and their Interrelationship, 1.9.1 Program Management, 1.9.2 Project Management, 
1.10.3 Operational Management 1.10 Rules of the Portfolio Management 